in some of this weather. Uh, bucketing down out there now, boys. I love it with Brian Lake down there. Spur kicks out the halfback over the top. Sloan to try and lock it away. Lynch, it is pouring down. So much so that even Eddie Betts couldn't handle it cleanly. But Sloan can. Sloan can with the first of the night. I noticed Pat didn't do one. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Hughes' kick turned over left. Oh! Big kick, he's up rising again, Eddie. And Jenkins, they swap rolls. Jenkins off the left. He's put it through. What a start in the wet by the Crows. So the more taller players you got. And, and Free aren't exactly tall at the moment, so he's hoping to get an edge there, perhaps. Now potent punch back in from Talia. And now Miller is able to work under the left. He's another exciting player for the Adelaide Crows, who's getting better and better. And then Lever just brushed aside. Tucker doesn't get enough on it. Kirsten on the left. Not bad delivery. Oh, crumb. McCarthy with the crumb oh, and the goal. Oh, oh. At last, Fremantle score a major. Well done, Gray. And some creative stuff from Stephen Hill. Now Walters. Can he dictate terms from here? He's got the chance, and he did well. Bought some space and time for Pierce. It's all about the kick now from Crozier. Well done. And it was good thinking and execution to find Mundy. Back, back with great courage, Jacobs. But Fife knew exactly where to go. His kick wasn't good. He'll have a second crack at it. And he maybe just took on a bit too much there, Nat Fife. Versatile player, that's for sure to full forward to Jenkins that never made it. Johnson didn't take the mark and Charlie Cameron, yep, got it on the line. Well done, Spur. And Neil, but then the fumble follows. Otten, onto the left, but he manufactured that superbly. Walters, too far out to score, unless you can get it sliding. Laird, one-on-one -on -one with Hill and you heard the applause. Adelaide fans recognising the skill and determination there of Rory Laird. He's becoming a real crowd favourite now, Rory Laird here in Adelaide. And I think a against the competition, across the competition, I spit it out in a minute. Uh, I think he took a while to get the uh, earn it. And I think now people realise how good he is. Atkins was prepared to bounce it twice in these conditions. He had the wing to himself and look what it set up. Crouch finding Sloan. A talented basketballer and a great loss to that sport. But it's Adelaide's gain as Sloan kicks the forward field. Here's Eddie. It's a little bit simple for Eddie, but it counts the same. Lynch. Cameron couldn't. Eddie could. He's kicked his second. Got to just the right spot. Kick goes there. Let's see who's going to scout the pat facing the right way. Eddie just goes front on this time, man. Bang, he's kicked his third. He's turning on the Eddie Betts show again. Jenkins and Tabernard did battle in the ruck. Blakely did well. Won his own ball and emerged with it in hand. And sends Fife on his way towards goal. And the ball continues over the head. Griffin doing his best to protect, protect, protect. All the way for a goal. Standoff with Lever. Okay, he's been everywhere around the footy at the moment. Lever just hacked it into the 50, and Andy Otten has a habit of just popping up in the right place. Tough, it certainly is. Oh, terrific handball. Fife with the setup. Weller with the finish. And there's a rarity. A Fremantle goal, and that's his second. Here's Brody Smith, he's everywhere at the moment. And Sam Jacobs, how did a bloke that size and that slow get away on his own? And he's kicked the goal, but only just. Works the angles, and a couple of Fremantle players almost intersected. Walters to Tucker. Left foot shot, not easy. Kick. And he's done it very well. Hardigan was about to be closed down and realised it, so... Oh, oh gee. that would hurt. Otten is the largest target down there. And he takes the mark. Nostradamus. Oh, Started as a back pocket. Was a runner up in the Rising Star in the back pocket. What a forward line they've got. Andy Otten kicks his fourth. Stay behind. Well, he does the team discipline thing. 
Huh? McKay reeled it in. And now Charlie Cameron, he's got bets in his line of sight. He ignores him to oh. kick a memorable oh. goal from the pocket. And in a lot of ways, it'd be highlighting the first 15, 20 minutes when the game was really... Yep. Oh, here's Charlie again. Springs into action. Has a bounce. Had to share this one with Josh Jenkins. And he rams it through. He's kicked it over the hill almost. And that's the 100-point barrier broken as Jenkins kicks his third goal.